Hi, welcome to Social Research Insights. The mission of Social Research Insights is to promote open source software for both academic and uh, uh, corporate research needs. This is in fact the third part of my series of presentations on, on performing chi-square an uh, analysis in PSPP. The PSPP is open source alternative to IBM SPSS. It has almost all similar appearance. Uh, and uh, the the syntax of PSPP is actually the clone of the syntax of SPSS. In my previous videos, I've explained how to perform the chi-square analysis, and uh, and also I I I told how to interpret the chi-square test measures. I'm going to perform the same action once again <laughs> in PSPP uh, to to perform the chi-square test or analysis. We just have to go to the analyze menu, descriptive statistics, and later cross tabs. And uh, here we just have to choose. Uh, let me do a small task uh, to uh, let me uh, give names to my variables so that it will be easy for me to. So satisfaction. Imagine that we have two variables. One is age, and other is satisfaction. And the idea of our analysis is to is to detect the dependence or independence relationship between these two variables. I mean, I'm going to my my interest of the analysis is to find if the satisfaction really depends on age or not so we just have to go to the analyze descriptive statistics and cross tabs there you take one variable into the rows the other variable into the satisfaction and the columns and after that go to the format and uh, keep them selected and after the statistics I keep uh, chi-square uh, default uh, statistic that already selected in the list uh, Actually, this is ordinal data. I should go for the other measures, but uh, Carl Pearson chi-square statistic is a generic measure for 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 any type of data. And just press continue, and after that, uh, go to the cells. I don't want all these uh, selected for my analysis, but I keep count and expected. The count is actual the, the stands for actual frequencies, and expected stands for the expected frequencies are expected values. Uh, in other words, the count is the observed values and expected is expected uh, values computed through this analysis. Okay, continue. Under the press OK. So go to the output window uh, where we can... Uh, so here we have the analysis and uh, it is not uh, as interactive as we do in SPSS. It is actually a static window the PSPP is under development and soon after the output window will uh, will be might be an interactive window uh, where we can perform a couple of actions uh, tweaking the values of these tables but for time being you know, y if you I mean if you want to do s the same uh, l level of actions that we usually do in SPSS you have to convert that into uh, uh, an editable file maybe the form of a word file in my computer LibreOffice suite is installed and uh, LibreOffice Word is a default word application in LibreOffice suite and I'm going to save this file on desktop uh, where I give the contingency output to I already have uh, the file uh, which I used for my previous uh, uh, presentation and here I choose the format here you can see the there, there, there are, there are f a few more formats available apart from the open document for format uh, like PDF HTML text postscript CSV and etc but in this case I'm going to use open document format which is the default format used by the LibreOffice suite or word save so so let's go back and here you can see the contingency output 2 and double press 
double kill click and the file will be open and delete all unnecessary I mean this code is not necessary for the reporting uh, we don't require this code for reports uh, in report and also summary table is not necessary for timing I just keep these two tables the table number one is uh, the contingency table and uh, the table number three is the chi-square statistic measures I just tweak the table so that my values are centered uh, so that it appears uh, appears uh, nice uh, for interpretation I have my degrees of freedom let me go back and see check okay I think I can do that here itself one two three four oh there are only four one two three four okay so these are the the chi-square measures that we obtain through the chi-square analysis there are uh, three uh, measures appearing in the chi-square test table first one is PSN chi-square measure the next one is likelihood ratio the third one is linear by linear association the first two measures I explained in my previous uh, presentations and this video the aim of this video is to explain what is this linear by linear association and all these three measures are none other than chi-square statistics but they are obtained uh, with the help of uh, different uh, procedures the chi-square Carl Pearson chi-square measure is obtained through through the formula O minus E whole square by E and uh, and the formula for the Carl Pearson chi-square measure is uh, the the sigma O minus E uh, whole square by E so this is actually the, the chi-square uh, the definition for the Carl Pearson chi-square statistic and this is the likelihood ratio r ratio statistic is uh, obtained uh, through a peculiar test called G-square statistic the G-square test that is 2 sigma for all i uh, OI st which stands for ob observed frequencies log um, OI by EI so EI actually the expected frequencies so this is actually the log the ratio of the uh, observed frequencies to that of expected frequencies that is why sometimes we call it as log likelihood ratio instead of likelihood ratio and the last one uh, the linear by linear association so this is rather the third uh, the measure that which we are uh, obtained through chi-square analysis through PSPP even in SPSS and these are the p-values if you observe the p-values the first two p-values are less than 0 0.05 so where actually we don't have the any objection to to accept the alternative hypothesis because we have enough evidence through our sample in support of alternative hypothesis because the p-value is less than 0 0.05 but when you when uh, when it comes to linear by linear association the p value is not less than 0 0.05 so so sin actually the, the in this case it is indeterminable because the value is exactly 0 0.05 uh, in case if you have the value more than 0 0.05 then it should be then 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 uh, then we will be accepting the null hypothesis uh, in other otherwise we will be will be accepting the alternative hypothesis but anyway the aim of this video is to explain what is this linear by linear association so that is so i'm going to sh uh, i'm going to show you the method through which uh, this linear by linear association test is performed in pspp even for the matter in spss the linear by linear association is uh, is uh, uh, denoted uh, by a, a, a letter called m square and the the formula for that is n minus 1 multiplied r square okay so where the r is called Pearson uh, co correlation coefficient we just have to substitute the values in this formula in order to obtain the m square value and after that and and after obtaining the value the m square roughly follows the chi square distribution first let us uh, substitute the values here we don't have uh, the correlation coefficient so I go back to PSPP 
and I perform the bivariate correlation mm, in order to pick up the uh, chi-square statistic so, so I'm uh, not going in, de to in detail uh, about uh, p-value this two-tailed p-value which is not necessary for, for time being uh, for our analysis so okay then go to the output window there you should be able to see the yeah minus two so this is actually the the Carl Pearson correlation coefficient so let's go back and uh, substitute that value in in uh, in our so m square is equal to 100 100 minus 1 uh, minus 0 0.2 whole square so this is the value which I obtained through this uh, mm, substitution through this calculation is is known as m square and this m square roughly follows the chi square distribution and uh, some sort of degrees of freedom and uh, uh, significance level so here the degrees of freedom uh, I'll tell you what to how to first let us check this calculation in uh, LibreOffice Calci and we'll come back to this uh, the issue of degrees of freedom so here I'm going to substitute all these values 100 minus 1 multiplied minus 0.2 whole square so this this should give me 3.96 let us go back and see see 3.96 so that value is roughly equal to the value which is obtained through uh, PSPP there's a little difference but we don't know what methods are used by PSPP but uh, more or less it is same and now coming to the degrees of freedom that's uh, the degrees of freedom is calculated we have two variables in the study isn't it we have age and uh, uh, satisfaction uh, in the study and these are the two variables so here uh, the degrees of freedom are calculated uh, simply by the number of variables minus one so we uh, since we have two variables this value is going to be two minus one which is equal to one so we can find the p-value with the help of this degrees of freedom at uh, 0 0.05 I mean 5% significance level let's go back and check uh, so this is the, ki the, ki the chi-square value and uh, I'm going to find the p-value chi-dist uh, uh, the chi-square value from uh, 0 0.05 so let us check uh, sorry degrees of freedom 1 so 0 0.04 so this is roughly it's actually the 0 0.046 which means 0 0.05 so you see actually we got the advantage of that is the difference between PSPP and uh, the spreadsheet application so here we got only 0 0.05 but here we got 0 0.06 now it is very clear that it is less than mm, 0 0.05 so we are actually accepting the alternative hypothesis so in all three cases yeah, we are accepting the alternative hypothesis that uh, the, the, the relationship significant uh, so the null hypothesis is that it is not linear there is no linear relationship between the the variables in the study but the but the but the but the p-value uh, the alternative hypothesis is that there is relationship between the variables in the study now the final conclusion is going to be since all the p-values are less than 0 0.05 at 5% uh, significance level we can conclude that uh, the the consumer satisfaction actually depends on their age I mean different uh, the respondents the respondents with the different age groups uh, uh, have different levels of satisfaction so the age in our study age helps us to understand the satisfaction levels of the respondents so that is how we have to interpret the chi-square analysis output uh, which is performed uh, in uh, PSPP thank you